Hey, Jet fans, come on in. Let's huddle up and let's talk about the big game this coming Monday between our Jets and those Patriots. You know, I'm going to do it a little differently this week. I'm going to break down different segments of this game and come back to you each day leading up to the game itself. Today, I've heard tossed around the question already, who is the best coach? Bill Belichick or Rex Ryan? To me, uh, it, it's a little premature to talk about the best coach, per se. I mean, we know what Bill Belichick's accomplishments have been over his 35 years of coaching. He's been pretty darn good winning three championships, as well as one as a defensive coordinator. To compare his accomplishments with the accomplishments of Rex Ryan at this stage of Rex's career as a head coach is pretty tough to do. Personally, I look back to see what was Bill Belichick like in his first couple of seasons. Well, as a head coach with the Cleveland Browns, he went 6-10 and ten and 7-9. and nine. So if we're just evaluating these two coaches on their first two years as a head coach, Rex Ryan right now is ahead of the game. And the thing that uh, is important too, Rex Ryan's team has played the Pats three times in league matchups and have won two of them. So who's the best one? Well, that remains to be seen. What's important is how they affect and coach their teams. Right now we uh, look at the New England team kind of like we look at Bill Belichick. You know, he's got a personality uniquely, uh, oh, distantly different than Coach Ryan, of course. Uh, Bill is very quiet, uh, almost subdued at times, and if you had seen him when he was in his first and second year with the Browns, oh boy, uh, he made uh, Coach Eric Mangini look gregarious, I'm talking about. I mean, Coach Belichick was really a, a quiet, tough guy to talk to. But he has mellowed and he has opened up. His team has taken on his personality somewhat with a quiet confidence. Let the actions speak louder than words kind of team. And they've been darn successful doing it. Of course, we love our Rex Ryan's technique and approach to coaching his team. He wants those guys confident, but they have to earn it. And you know what? In just a little over than a season and a half, he has fellas believing that they will win. Not that they can win, but that they will win. So you, you have uniquely different personalities here. I don't know if Santonio San Holmes or Braylon Edwards or Cromartie would fit with Bill Belichick's type leadership. Sure, Coach Belichick had Randy Moss, and that worked a while, you see, but uh, these guys are so different uh, with their personalities, but so similar with their backgrounds. Coach Belichick's dad was a coach at the Naval Academy for years, and, and Bill Belichick grew up planning on becoming a football coach. Same thing with Rex Ryan. You folks may, re well, I'm sure you do remember Buddy Ryan. Heck, he was our defensive coach when we won the Super Bowl all the way back in uh, Super Bowl three. And then, of course, Buddy led uh, that defensive unit of the 85 Bear team that won the Super Bowl. So, Belichick and, and Rex both have had the passion for the game since they were youngsters. But they both certainly reflect the demeanor of their parents, like most of us do. Right now, I think uh, the best coach for this season is what we ought to talk about. And at this point, I think Rex Ryan is with what he's doing with the Jets. When you match these two teams up with nine and two records, the Jets have beaten the Patriots already, as well as uh, defensively are... I won't say head and shoulders above the Patriots, but the Jets uh, do rank fourth in the league against the run, while the Patriots are like 16th. 
And against the pass, the Jets are 12th, while the Patriots are 32nd. Huh? That uh, makes me feel a whole lot better about Monday night's matchup to get go. But this is going to be about the players when it comes to Monday night. The Jets have that swagger. The players have that swagger because Rex Ryan has that swagger and they've been winning. I can see our players going out there almost with a cocky attitude. Almost. Because they know what they have to get done to win this game. And that's that's to play better than they've played this season. Now, Coach Belichick already has his three championship rings as a head coach. Of course, Rex has one also as a defensive coordinator with the Ravens. But you folks know, deep down in Rex Ryan's heart, he wants that Super Bowl ring. This game is humongous. Whoever wins this game has the inside track and the home field advantage for the playoffs, you see. That's why this game is so big. Home field advantage is humongous. I'm looking for, well, I'm not going to tell you what I'm looking for completely today because I'm going to come back to you uh, the next few days, beginning tomorrow, to talk about different segments of the two teams and how we match up on the field. Off the field, our head coaches at this stage for this year, uh, I got to give Rex the edge at this time. I know that might tee off some of those Patriot fans, but I'd like to tee them off real good and kick their butts come Monday night. All right, we'll huddle up again tomorrow, folks. Let's go. Ready? Break! <laughs>